Hey guys, brief little video here in keeping with my thoughts of, uh, you know, it's I'm not going to so much write on the website if I'm going to video all this, for now, temporary. But I did up a short video a while ago on, uh, if you want things to move, get your ass moving. And uh, regardless of what, you know, uh, if you just sit there and visualize, it's not going to happen. Okay, you have to actually... And watch that video for more. That was that was personal exam uh, personal examples. That was that was the reason I made that video, which is uh, about a month ago. You'll find it on the motivational channel, but um, motivational playlist. But uh, for me, that's always been physical activity, and I believe I mentioned that in in that video. And the number one antidote to what most people need is not something a fucking doctor can solve with a whole bunch of fucking pills, it's up here, mental. It's worry. There's that old saying about saying, worrying about tomorrow will only ruin today because you got to live in the moment. You can't control what will happen tomorrow. You can plan for it, but like Dr. Moll said in Psycho-Cybernetics, you can't control it, okay? And worry never accomplished anything, okay? To, to, to an extent, yeah, it's natural to worry, but then to get it out of your system to solve the problem, for me, it's always been physical or mental work, uh, outwork the fucking competition, uh, to just work day in, work day out, work fucking at 2 a.m. in the morning like I did last night with the clubs, work at fucking 4 a.m., don't sleep, no matter what it takes, no matter what your situation, no matter what your goals. Uh, and keep doing that, even after you accomplish because like what Bristol said, like I keep saying in The Magic of Believing, success is a fickle bird, man. Um, you let it, uh, you know, you let it perch and you do nothing about it and you perch yourself on the fucking couch and think you're, you know it all or whatever. That's when it flies away, okay? And um, the key thing here, every time I'm stressed out or worried, out, worried about something or thinking about something, can't find a solution. I mean, I, I'll do my thinking, I'll do my visualization, I'll do my, you know, dark room therapies and all that, but, um, which I've spoken about. How, but at the end of the day, man, if none of that instantly, sometimes it's not going to visualize what you want. Oftentimes, what I do, hit it hard. Hit it so hard, I'm so exhausted, I can't fucking think, you know. Then I go back, I crash, and... Uh, Recharge my batteries, and this is regardless. I don't care if you uh, if you haven't eaten for three days. I don't care if you haven't uh, slept for three days. I don't care. Navy SEALs, man, Marines, you gotta get tough. I don't care if you you know if you're if you if you're going through family situations, divorce. I don't care. No excuses, motherfucker, and uh, zero actually. You get out there. Nothing about the weather. If it's hot and fucking humid, you get out there. If it's raining, you get out there. You know, if you want to fucking uh, be in that 1%, you do what the 1% do. And that's pushing yourself to the extreme beyond what anyone would ever think or imagine possible, both mentally and physically. But the mental and physical both go together. All right. Uh, you can't neglect either. And the physical is key to getting the mental going. You don't do enough physical activity, your mind just won't work as good as it should. Try it. The next time you're worried, it could be anything. It could be swimming, it could be push-ups, could be running, pull-ups, whatever. Exhaust your ass. Just exhaust your ass. So even if you try to think about that thing that's worrying you or whatever, you're not going to be able to think about it because you're so fucking exhausted. What happens? Subconscious mind starts working, bingo, bang, results. All right, try it, write back, email back, let me know. Ciao.